Salut, David Roman here, and I'm having a little bit of trouble with this review because usually when I demonstrate products, I show you how to operate the products, I give you a little tour of it, but here I don't really need to show you how it works because it's so easy to operate that a five-year-old could use it. As a matter of fact, the product that I'm going to talk to you about today is called Easy Makes 2. It's the second version of this amazing software from ToonTrack that is going to facilitate your mixes. Before I go further, I should tell you that if you're the type of musician who loves to spend hours mixing their projects, tweaking everything, making sure the EQ is right, this product is probably not for you. However, if you're the kind of musician who just wants to focus on writing and creating great sounding music without spending hours mixing, nothing wrong with hours mixing, but this is probably the product that you want to have. I love it. It's called Easy Mix 2. Let's check it out. Here's a short four track demo that I wrote with drums, bass, and two guitar tracks, a rhythm guitar and a lead guitar. Here's how it sounds. Easy Mix is a collection of presets that you can apply to your tracks to make them sound great without having to tweak them. Presets are organized by instrument, by effect type, by type, by genre, and by preset pack. More on the preset packs later. Within my drum folder, I have all these different presets that I can apply to my drums. Let's pick the jazz drum loop. And I can browse through all these loops by simply clicking on them. Every preset is made of a combination of different effects. These effects can be seen on the right panel here. Each knob corresponds to a different uh, setting within your preset. On this particular preset, I have the phaser that is active and the resonance speed. I can alter the amount of phaser and resonance on this effect. Let's hear how it sounds. I'm going to increase the phaser. And every different preset is going to have a different type of effect active within these two knobs. So you do have a little bit of flexibility, but the main idea in Easy Mix 2 is to make your mixes easy without all these different knobs. Just select your preset and usually you're good to go. Let's try to create a quick mix with this demo track that I created. Here's my bass track. It was recorded dry on my computer, no effects at all. I'm going to open Easy Mix. In the bass folder, I have all the different bass presets. I'm going to activate Easy Mix. And I can go through the different presets and pick whatever I like. Here's my dry track. Here's my process track. Let's hear it with the drums. It sounds pretty good to me. Again, these two tracks are processed with Easy Mix 2. Dry, it would have sounded like this. Activate Easy Mix on the drums and on the bass. Let's move on to the guitars. My guitar was recorded dry into the computer here, so it sounds unprocessed. And open Easy Mix. I have a guitar folder in there, and I can pick whichever preset I want. Let's pick the old school funk stack, and I'm going to activate Easy Mix. And again, there's a lot of different presets in there. Let's pick this and hear it with the bass and drums. I told you earlier about preset packs. You can expand Easy Mix 2 by purchasing some additional preset packs that were created by some of the top mixers in the industry and that are genre specific also. Before I go, let's compare the full track dry and then we'll hear it with the Easy Mix. Here it is dry. Let's 
really dry. Let's activate Easy Mix on the four tracks. For more info on Easy Mix 2, visit tunetrack.com. Check it out, I love this plugin. It's really gonna make your life easier. If you don't like to tweak, if you do like to tweak, then just tweak. That's fine. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. And until then, see you.